Wednesday the 30th of August and I was just telling the guys how last night I ended up fondling my uh, fellow housemate, tent mate, Hannah. <laughs> so embarrassing. I was having a dream that I was helping her get out of a kayak, uh, but because it was dark, I ended up looking for my torch to help her get out of a kayak. So I kind of manhandled her. She must have been petrified. And then I realized, then I woke up and realized I was dreaming. So that's a bit embarrassing. I'm going to show you today's view, this morning's view. We're staying on a tiny little island. That's the guys having Becky. Pretty dreamy. Once again, I'm feeling a bit achy. The canoe has added aches on top of the kayaking aches. <laughs> I trained in Japan for many years in the art of paddle. Paddle Kido. Today I am back in the canoe. Oh, no I'm not. Today I am back in the kayak. I actually quite liked the canoe. It's due to rain today, not sure how I feel about that, but I am pleased that I'm not going to get any more sun on my bonds because I've had a headache for two days. Today we are kayaking through Henley on the River Thames. This place is unreal. What you got? Men's horny goat weed. Are you, are you horny? Traditionally used to support sexual health. <laughs> are you going to take some? Oh yeah, down it. <laughs> what do you turn into when you're taking it? This is what happens. Whee! Happy. <laughs> Half past two. Guys, I am so achy today. Like I'm even struggling to hold up my phone. My shoulders are killing me right at the front and then the top of my biceps and the girl's like oh you've you've got to use the right technique but i think what the problemo is is i'm used to the pulling action rather than the pushing They're giving me loads of techniques like pedaling my feet and i'm thinking i'm not on a bike i'm in a kayak i'm really really tired i've got another 10k today and i i think i've had enough but look at my plastic mountain Look at my plastic mountain. Oh, it doesn't actually look that impressive. So I'd really like to get it up here. So then I've got a little plastic mountain. That would be really cool. Welcome to the interview. Oh, yes. Yeah, so of LT TV. We've now got the camera and we are asking the questions. My question, LT TV. What would you say is your number one biggest weakness and your number one biggest strength? Weakness, bossy. Strength, keep going. Yeah. My question to LT is if you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? I'd really like decent nutrition lessons for children in schools so they understand that they shouldn't really eat sugar and drink fizzy drinks and eat more vegetables. What is your biggest dream to do in the world? <gasps> Row across the Atlantic as a female pair and set a world record. <gasps> Have I mentioned that I want to do that at all? <laughs> Once. What have you got out of paddle pickup? What's the main oh. thing you've got out of paddle pickup? It's always going to be a good question, wasn't it? <laughs> I have got out of this that I would like. I, I regularly litter pick when I'm out on my adventures, so I do get a plastic bag and I do do a bag full. But I want to start litter picking on the water, and I I want to get a few friends together because it's really fun, super fun. You have rowed around the UK, but this is your first time kayaking for more than two days. How are you feeling about kayaking right now? My shoulders are killing me. I've mentioned it in every video diary. So rowing is pulling, and this is, I didn't realise, pushing. So my shoulders and in the top of my biceps are killing me. And I'm really feeling it. Put me in a rowing boat for two months, I'm fine. Put me in a kayak for two days and I'm ruined. But it's cool. Good training. Today's looking like a good day. What was the best thing? Oh, that's right, pretty cool. Like, if you can separate the polystyrene and put it in. Stop toy? Because it's the water. Who found that? 
Erin um, found it. Cool. Um, and it's really awesome because we can actually use it to help us fish a little bit across the Jack River. End of day three. I'm in a vehicle. Uh, I've had to make the decision to call it a day on day three because my inbox is absolutely bursting with important emails. 80 kilometres, about 45 locks, 500 pieces of plastic collected by all of us over the three days and I've just absolutely loved it. It's 6.50 and I've just got back to my little van and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do a little roundup of my trip. I was with those girls for four days and it feels like I've been away for ages. It was lovely to be back on the water again. And one thing that struck me on the train on the way home is that four days in the normal world, you would never ever build a friendship with people uh, just because there's like boring things going on like laundry and husbands and wives and children and dogs and all sorts. But four days in the adventure world is enough time to forge massive, massive friendships. And I'm sure that I'm going to stay in touch with all of those girls because they are just doing some wicked things. And that is why I love adventure so much because we're all out and we all, um, we're probably all going for the same reason. And life is just relaxed. We laughed loads. There was lots of time for self reflection. And for me personally, all the time in the kayak, I just had loads of time in my head and can't wait to get back to work because I've got loads and loads of creative ideas. For those that are interested in the little adventure that I've done, I urge you to go to paddlepickup.com if it's not something that you're interested in doing as part of a group, then certainly grab a plastic bag, grab your trainers, your hiking boots, a kayak, grab your bike, grab whatever, go out and just do a little bit of litter picking. And hopefully if we all do a little bit, we can make a difference. Thank you to Paddle Pickup, Love Her Wild, and also to Evoke Adventure for creating such a great event. And I really think that this will become a massive community. Peace out. I actually forgot, 9.30, I actually forgot I got back. I didn't do the sniff test, guys, so I've come to my mate Dieter's house. We just, I look so tired. We didn't do the sniff test, so this girl is gonna smell my T-shirt. I've been wearing the T-shirt made of coffee for four days, mostly on my body when I wasn't wearing it on my body. I was wearing it on my head. The T-shirt made of coffee. Oh no. <laughs> Make sure my boobs aren't out. <laughs> T-shirt made of coffee. Where's the armpits? There are the armpits. How do you feel about doing this? Four days. I'm nervous. Four, Guys, four, I'm four, so four nervous. days. And I even slept in it. And 100 kilometers of kayaking and two really hot days. Just to prove you, these are actually the armpits. <laughs> I'm scared. Do I? Don't I? Smell it. Full inhale. Oh. I can't actually smell it. Really? It smells the same all the way around. I think it smells like sun cream. Does it smell like sun cream? It's fine. Yeah? Like, honestly, unbelievable. She's still smelling my t-shirt. <laughs> I was actually it's really nervous. Fun. Genuinely thought, like, that is going to stink. But 100% that t-shirt does not smell. Four days. I wore that for about 16 hours per day. So 16 times four. I'll leave you guys to do the maths. T-shirt made of coffee. I'm going to write a review on the blog. LTFactor.com. Such a good plug. Peace out.